Hello traders here, Chris Capri, SecondSkiesForex.com. Today I have a live price action trade here for you on the dollar Swiss, where I'm going to explain my entry, my stop loss, my take profit levels, and why I took the trade. As you can see from the chart, I'm up about 143 pips roughly at this point, and it matches down here in the platform. You can also see that this is a real money account. FXCM with all their platforms, whether you're on the institutional platform, the active trader, or the more common retail one, which is their TS2, will always say real when it's a real money account, and they'll say demo when it's a demo account. Moving on to the trade here, we can see it was opened about 24 hours ago. Uh, it's about six uh, four-hour candles. I've been talking to my members about this in my price action course that the 95, 95 and a quarter is a key support level. On the 20th, uh, the bids held this area really well that you can see there was kind of a lot of absorption of the offers here. And they eventually started to push back. And in that process, the market tried to come back a little bit, but then the bids stepped in and pushed it up another leg higher. So I was thinking that it may not come back to the 95 level again. So I was willing to get in at 95.29. I don't consider this uh, a textbook entry. As you can see, it did go to about 95 again. So that would have been the textbook entry. So my entry wasn't perfect by any, me any means. But the overall trade location was solid. Uh, this range support area is held three times now. So this is a really good trade location. My stop loss placement was just a few pips below the low of the lowest uh, push below this 95 here. So I have at this point a 54 pip stop and being up about 142 pips gives me almost about a plus 3R, it's about plus 2.6. Now in terms of my target, it's at 98 and a quarter and that's the most recent spike highs. So assuming that the bulls are gonna continue to maintain this range, at a minimum they should attack about this high right here at 97.50 which would still offer me about plus 4R. But I'm gunning for this one here, expecting that it's gonna try and make an attack up here. And that would give me about plus 5.5 R. In terms of trade management, if the price action attacks this 98 handle or an above here pretty aggressively, I may be open to lifting the limit and then gunning for a larger move back towards um, parity or maybe 99.50, which would add a lot more profit and R onto the trade. Um, in terms of the stop loss management at this point, I'm likely going to lift the stop pretty soon here and lock in some profit soon, perhaps just under 96, which would be this kind of area right over here. And that would neutralize all the risk and lock in some profit and be in a risk-free trade at this point. But that's pretty much it in terms of my entry stop loss take profit location and my price action analysis behind this. I'm simply playing the range here. It's a medium term range structure. And so I'm playing the range on both sides with a, bull, a slight bullish bias right now. But did you find this uh, lesson useful? Please make sure to like, share, and tweet it below. And I'd love to hear your comments on this and what aha moments you had from this. Also make sure to check out my website, secondskiesforex.com, and check out all the free articles, trading articles, and videos there. If you want to take your training to the next level, make sure to visit my price action course where I teach you how to make plus high R trades just like this. And that's pretty much it. This is Chris Capri with SecondSkiesForex.com where I teach you how to change the way you think, trade, and perform. So the first one, I have an entry at 186.06 and about a 300 pip target on a 34 pip stop. So that's just under a 10 R. It's about a 9 R on that one there. The second one, I have a 17 pip stop, and that one has about 260 pips um, plus target on that one there. So you do the math on that one, and that's a plus 15 R. Is it going to get there? I don't know. But again, I'm using the same principles that I talked about in the last video. This trade right here, so with the 32 point stop, the high on the day was 115.72. So I was already up about plus 60 pips on this one here. Remember that thing I said in the last video that you shouldn't have to wait uh, more than a day to get plus 2R? Well, this one thing hit plus 2R within a very short period of time. Again, if it's taking you days and days and days and days, maybe weeks or holding over a week and hit plus 2R, then your entries are inaccurate and your stop loss isn't precise.